How to Trade in Stock by Jesse Livermore Anyone who is inclined to speculate should look at speculation as a business and treat it as such and not regard it as a pure gamble or as so many people are apt to. There are times when one should speculate and just as surely there are times when one should not speculate. Speculate successfully, one must form an opinion as to what the next move of importance will be in a given stock. Speculation is nothing more than anticipating coming movements. Don't trust your own opinion and back your judgment until the action of the market itself confirms your opinion. After forming a definite opinion with respect to a certain stock or stocks, do not be too anxious to get into it. Wait and watch the action of that stock or stock market wise. The real money is speculate in speculating has been in commitments in stock or commodity showing a profit right from the start. As long as a stock is acting right and the market is right, do not be in a hurry to make a profit. Profits always take care of themselves, but losses never do. The speculator has to insure himself against considerable losses by taking the first small loss. Successful speculation is anything but a mere guess. To be consistently successful an investor or speculator must have rules to guide him. You cannot wisely read a book on how to keep fit and leave the physical exercise to another, nor can you delegate to another the task of keeping your records if you are to follow faithfully my formula for combining the time element and prices. If my stock does not act as I anticipated, I immediately determine the time is not yet ripe. So I close out my commitment. Perhaps a few days later, my guide indicates I should get it again so back I go and probably this time it is 100% correct. Familiarize yourself with the stock or different groups of stocks and if you figure the time element correctly in conjunction with your records sooner or later you will be able to determine when a major move is due. You must, I repeat, keep your own records. You must put down your own figures. Do not let anyone else to do it for you. You will be surprised how many new ideas you will formulate in doing so doing ideas which no one else could give it to you. It may surprise many to know that in my method of trading when I see by my records that an upcoming trend is in progress I become a buyer as soon as stock makes a new high on its movement after having had a normal reaction I never buy on reactions or go short on rallies On other point, 
it's foolhardy to make a second trade if your first trade shows your loss. Never average losses. Let that thought be written indelibly upon your mind. Stocks, like individuals, have character and personality. Some are high strung, nervous, and jumpy. Others are full right, direct, and logical. Now that little reaction is only normal. Never be afraid of the normal movement but be very fearful of abnormal movements. You have had patience to stay with the stock all during its natural progress. Now have the courage and good sense to honor the danger signal and step aside. Again, let me say the human side of every person is the greatest enemy of the average investor or speculator. Anyone who is inclined to speculate should look at speculation as a business and treat it as such and not regard it as a pure gamble or so many people are apt to. One cannot be successfully one cannot be successful by speculating every day or every week that there are only a few times a year if you have timed the movement correctly your first commitment will show your profit at start Remember this, when you are doing nothing, those speculators who feel they must trade every day in and every day in and day out are laying the foundation for your next venture. You will reap benefits from their mistakes. There are there is always the temptation in the stock market after a period of success to become careless or excessively ambitious. What I wish to impress upon you is the fact that when you clearly see a move coming in a particular group, act upon it. Confine your studies of movements to the prominent stocks of the day. You cannot make money out of the leading active issues. You are not going to make money out of the stock market as a whole. I know but one short tip from a broker. It is your margin call. When it reaches you, close your account. You are on the wrong side of the market. One major mistake of all speculators is the urge to enrich themselves in too short a time. For years after a successful deal was closed, I made it habit to draw out cash. When a speculator is fortunate enough to double his original capital, he should at once draw one out, one out, one half of his profit to set aside for reserve. 
Nothing new ever occurs in the business of speculating or investing in securities or commodities. There are times when one should speculate, and just as surely there are times when one should not speculate. The lesson here again is that speculation itself is a business and should be viewed by all. Whenever I have had the patience to wait for the market to arrive at what I call a pivotal point before I started to trade, I have always made money in my operations. All I had to do thereafter was just sit tight and let the market run its course, knowing if I did so, the action of the market itself would give me, in due time, the signal to take my profits. I never benefit much from a move if I didn't get in at somewhere near the beginning of that move. Moreover, if you make a purchase because you think that market is going into upward trend and then a few weeks later come to the conclusion the market is leading into downward trend, you will find it much easier to accept the reversal in trend than if you had a confirmed opinion that the market was definitely in bullish or bearish stage. When a speculator can determine the pivotal point of a stock and inter interpret the action at that point, he may make a commitment with the positive assurance of being right from the start. Bear in mind, when using pivotal points in anticipating market movements, that if the stock does not perform as it should after crossing the pivotal point, this is a dangerous signal which must be heeded. Incidentally, every time I lost patience and failed to await the pivotal point and fiddled around for some easy profits in the meantime, I would lose money. There are other ways by which one can determine pivotal points. For instance, for instance, let us say that a new stock has been listed in the last two or three years and its high was 20 or any other figure and that such a price was made two or three years ago. If something favorable happens in the connection with the company and the stock starts upward, usually it's safe to play to buy the minute it touches brand new high. There are times when money can be made investing and speculating in stocks, but money cannot consistently be made trading every day or every week during the year. Only the foolhardy will try it. By keeping stock price records and taking into consideration the time element, you will be able to find many pivotal points on which to make a commitment for fast movement, but to educate yourself to trade on these points requires patience. Commodities frequently offer attractive pivotal points. 
Be careful. Timing is essential. Impatience costly. We all know when we are wrong. The market will tell speculator when he is wrong because he is losing money. Bear in mind that of the millions who speculate in all markets, only a few devote that entire time to speculation. To the rank and file of persons who speculate the bullish or bearish feeling is simply based on something overheard or something published comment. Markets are never wrong. Opinions often are. The letter are of no value to the investor or speculator unless the market acts in accordance with his ideas. Out of it all emerges my theory of time element in trading, which I regard as the most important factor in successful speculation. This is the conclusion of this mini presentation done based on Jesse Livermore's book How to Trade in Stocks. The Livermore formula for combining time element and price.